I think it's entirely possible that there could be another very serious event with an emerging infectious disease like 1918 flu. I'm not one of the people who likes to go around scaremongering at all, but I think it would be a terrible mistake to be complacent. Uh, we don't understand enough about the emerging infections to feel safe that there isn't going to be a big problem. Now, of course, uh, the 2009 swine flu pandemic, a lot of people did say, oh, it's all going to be terrible and you know, dreadful things are going to happen. And it turned out that rather a small proportion of people uh, became seriously ill. So perhaps it's an unfashionable view at the moment, but I think we should still be cautious and prepared. For something like influenza, even though we know how to make a vaccine, it takes a long time to prepare enough vaccine. So the point about a pandemic is it's something new. And you can't prepare the fa uh, a vaccine in advance because you don't know what it is that's going to cause a next pandemic. So between the time you decide that, yes, we are going to make a lot of vaccine for this particular kind of flu, and when you have enough to get, start giving it to people, it will take six months. And that's simply an engineering issue. It takes that long that there are not that many factories in the world for making these vaccines, and that's how long it will take to make a lot of doses. And that's not six months to make enough doses for everybody in the world. It's enough doses, uh, basically it's time enough to make vaccines for the people who've pre-ordered them. Uh, so that's a real problem. And one of the reasons why the decision to buy vaccine has to be made very quickly really before you know for sure whether, the, whether it's going to be a real problem or not.